Hello, beautiful souls. Elena here. I had an interesting idea this week. So this is my inspiration for you, which is that, you know, those moments where <laughs> you're sitting or standing and you realize, oh, crap, I forgot to practice. And you forgot to practice this morning or this week or for the past month or the past year, whatever it is. Anyway, it's just dawning on you in that moment that you haven't practiced. And if you're like me, you go through this sort of like <laughs> melange of uh, frustration, guilt, shame, sadness. Ah, sucks. It's not a nice moment to have. And I had that moment this week because I've been practicing really regularly for about six months. And then I realized a couple of days ago that I hadn't practiced for two weeks. I was like, ah, oh, that's awful. Oh my goodness. And as I was having that realization and I was like, okay, it's okay to feel this. Like that's a valid, that's a valid reaction to not doing something I care a lot about and I know is healthy and helps me. And then right after that, I thought, and you know what? I can practice right now. So that's what I want to encourage you to do when you have that moment. Okay, you know, feel whatever you feel, blah, 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 guilt, shame, frustration, whatever. I mean, those are just emotions. They're fine. Have them, let them be there. And then right after that, if you want, practice. You can change that whole thing from, ah, I didn't do it to, huh, I'm doing it right now. Of course, if you practice mindfulness or meditation, it's pretty easy. You just do your practice in that moment, uh, become present, whatever it is. Well, if your practice is something else, especially if it's something physical, like you run or you lift weights or I don't know, you knit or you paint or you're a writer, sculptor, whatever it is, it's going to be a little bit hard to go running right then or start lifting weights immediately. On the other hand, what you can do is feel into your practice, like embody it in that moment. What does it feel like to run? What does it feel like to knit? What does it feel like to lift weights? And of course, if you do something like lifting weights, you can actually contract parts of your body. Imagine doing a certain lift or press and actually can physically contract parts of your body. And one of the cool things about doing that when you're not loaded with the weight is you'll notice you'll have a different kinesthetic experience with your body. And you might realize, oh, hey, I kind of like shift my shoulders forward and I don't need to do that. And next time you actually do have the weight, you can pay attention to that. Or let's say you're like me and you're a runner. I can imagine running, do the gait and feel like, huh, I'm a little tight in certain places. Maybe I can stretch and right here, I just stretch a little bit and get that muscle relaxed. Or I could practice whatever breathing technique I'm doing lately. Or if it's something like, I don't know, writing or knitting, you can think about, hmm, what have I been writing about and what do I want to write about? Or where am I in my story and how do I want it to change it or add to it? If you're knitting, you can think about what am I knitting? Do I need to buy anything else? Uh, is there anything that can make my, my practice easier? Anything you can do in that moment, even if you're not physically actually doing it, you can advance your practice, right? You can think about it, you can feel into it, you can actually do it if it's something you can do in that moment. But the point is, you know, after you have the, that feeling of, oh, oh, <laughs> accept that, great, and then make a choice to actually practice. You've just given yourself an awesome moment in your life to do what you love doing best and to do what you know helps you and makes you a better person right then and there. So take that moment and turn it from ah to oh yeah. <laughs> and you will most likely practice the next day as well because you will have added to it and given yourself instead of a moment of eh, just a moment of eh, you will have given yourself motivation and something else to play with when you actually do it. Hope that helps. Take care and happy practicing.